I play Admiral Reigns, and um, Admiral Reigns is the authority figure of the piece. And uh, Lieutenant Reyes, who is the character that the gamer plays through, runs into big challenges, big, you know, save the world kind of challenges, in which he needs an advisor to help him kind of sort out some of the moral dilemmas that he's going to have to face when the challenge is that big. You know, who lives and who dies is a moral dilemma. And sometimes a captain has to make choices that are for the good of the world, but not necessarily for the good of the people around. Um, and who do you save? And, and who really are your friends? And what does friendship mean when you're in the heat of battle? And, um, and Admiral Reigns is his advisor as he works his way through this maze. If you're not a big gamer, Call of Duty is kind of the biggest of the big games. And right now, the technology of how they're doing games is morphing so that the, uh, the animation is so close to real life that it's almost at the point where you don't really need the game part of it to be able to sit down and watch the story. Um, the beautiful part about it is that when we make it, we're in this, it's kind of like an empty warehouse. And uh, it's got tape on the floor to say where the, uh, where the furniture pieces will be in the spaceship. Um, and around the warehouse, there's about 60 cameras and we're wearing the motion capture suits, which are sending signals to the computer of every time that your joints change position so that they know how to capture your movement. So we do this whole thing in an empty space. And then when you turn it on, it's like on this futuristic spaceship and we're jumping into the plane and flying off in space and jumping out of the plane in space and battling people in zero gravity environments. And it's really um, incredible how much that, how much can be created now without you actually having to do it. Mm -hmm. Preparation for what you're doing is exactly the same because um, in those types of scenes, it is really about the relationship between the characters. However, there is a, a playfulness about it, like when you were a kid and you were saying, okay, you know, uh, you know our army is against your army and you guys are going to go out and y'all got to hide down the street and then we're going to come and find you. And everybody picks up a stick and that's your gun and it's da 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 I got you. It feels like that. So there's a, there's a playfulness to it that, um, that, that lends to a level of creativity. And, and yet at the same time, you have to absolutely commit to the reality that they're going to animate. So it's playful, but at the same time, you're very committed to being real. Call of Duty has always been a boots on the ground game. That's, that's what it's really about is you're simulating the boots on the ground uh, in battle experience. So that part of it stays the same. You still are having a boots on the ground experience, except your boots are now landing uh, on ground that's in outer space. And the people that you're fighting against are robots and you're flying jet fighters out in space and landing on these huge space carriers and the, the values of it have expanded exponentially. And I think that if you are a fan of Call of Duty, you're gonna get all of the same excitement that you always got, but the environment is expanded and it's totally new. And I can't think of anything where, I mean, I know movies where we've gone to space. So we've, we've seen Aliens and Prometheus and we've, we've been able to view the space experience. But I don't know that we've been able to interact with the space experience. And that's what Call of Duty is bringing this time around.